Porter's um, store to demonstrate something about sound. Uh, we, um, we, uh, you may uh, see some footage about uh, the making of um, meat for Satan's uh, icebox. And one of the problems that they did there was they used an omnidirectional mic, which I am using right now. So you may find it difficult uh, to hear me, uh, especially with the music uh, going on in the background. You don't want to have dialogue going while there's music in the background because then when you cut, when you edit the dialogue, you have jump cuts with the music. So it's better to have um, the dialogue by itself in the clear like this is, so that you can make lots of cuts. So um, the problem is, if if you want to, if you want to, if for example, if you wanted to add in the music to my my singing, you don't want it going on in the background like this, because then when you cut and edit me, you'll chop up the music. So if by chance you wanted to have, uh, if you did want to have the beautiful tales from the Crapper theme song, sung by Ms. Uh, uh, Lila Sullivan, you would then uh, you'd film her individually and use a a harp mic and mic her mouth as well as the harp and uh, mic both the and then mix the music and her voice together so you film the music separately and then you also probably want to mic Lila Sullivan's mouth as well as the harp because if you film it like this if you film like this um, with omnidirectional the way they did in, in uh, Meet for Satan's Icebox you probably won't be able to understand what Lila's singing Harp may drown out her voice, or vice versa. So um, probably you want to put a mic on her harp and on her mouth. You know, you have two mics, and then mix them later on, so that you got the music and the sound of her voice properly mixed. Uh, but this would not be very good, and you definitely don't want this whilst there's dialogue going on. When you do sound and you're doing dialogue, it's very important to have a directional mic with a boom. And uh, in Meet for Satan's Icebox, unfortunately, a uh, the camera mic, like I'm doing right now, was used so that um, the sound is difficult and you hear people talking over each other because the uh, omnidirectional camera mic picks up everything. So um, what you need to do is use a, uh, a directional mic. Now, if I bring the mic real close to my mouth, now you can probably hear me much, much clearer. And, um, but uh, this would all be solved if we had a mic plugged into the camera and uh, pointed at my mouth instead of this, because this is not a very attractive shot. So, and if I got really far from me, in fact, we'll show you right now. Oops. See, now watch. You can't hear me, right? See what happens? This is what happens with uh, if you do have a problem with your sound, um, you can always use subtitles. Now, if you're trying to film this, you would need to put a mic very close to my mouth in order to understand. But you could put in subtitles. You could put subtitles for so at least the audience can understand. Stay, children, stay here so they can get so you can be seen. Stay right here. Get, that's it. Stay here. So if you're making this noise, if you're trying to be heard, you may have to put in subtitles, which doesn't work for a um, narrative movie. It's very weird if you have subtitles. For a, a documentary, you could put in the subtitles because with documentary, the audience will forgive you. For a narrative, um, it will be really weird to have uh, subtitles uh, during uh, Forrest Gump Part 64. Uh, the audience would not forgive that. So um, there's a lesson in sound, uh, and uh, when you're making your own damn movie, use directional mics. Don't do what the uh, Meet for Satan's Icebox people seem to be doing, and uh, you will have a much better time. Thank you to Borders Books for creating this beautiful, beautiful lesson in sound, and for uh, selling trauma.